Here we have an iPhone 7 Plus with a broken power button. The power button does not work. Uh, initially, when the customer came in, he did not mention anything about liquid damage. But upon inspecting the phone, we do see that the phone suffered liquid damage. I already took the board out, and we see a red flag right here, which indicates that water came in contact with this board. So uh, looking at the board under the microscope, here's what I found. This is where the flex cable connects. And on top here, we have something going on. We have components. We do not know what's missing, what's blown, what's corroded. But we're going to find out right now. All right. I have my um, iPad um, to get repaired, uh -huh. um, but I'm not going to be in town until Monday. My so let's go ahead and see what those components are for. Uh, all those components are filters. Okay, let's test and see if the filters are good. Put the meter in continuity mode. This is good. This is good. This is good. All the filters tested good. Maybe the corrosion on the filters prevented the power button from working. Could be. Physically, I do not see anything else wrong with the phone. Before we proceed to testing other areas of the board, I'm tempted to try the board right now to see if the power is working. We did notice a lot of corrosion on top of the filters. We tested the filters and all of them tested fine. Uh, we added flux, we reflowed the components in place, we cleaned out the area. Basically, the board looks clean all over. The only thing I found wrong was the top here. Maybe liquid spilled through the earpiece and it came over here, but the rest of the board, I did not see any signs of liquid. So cleaning those filters could possibly fix the power button problem. Hi, I don't know if you don't know me, but my name is Nicole and I... Right, so we have the screen connected, we have the power flex cable, the power button flex cable connected here, and then we're going to connect our battery, and let's see, is it going to work? Ah, it's working. Power button is working. Battery is not charged, but uh, the power button made the phone come on. Press and hold. We do see that the power button is working. Great, awesome. We did not have to do any major circuit board work. All we did was reflowed the filters in place. We tested out the filters, everything tested good. We cleaned out the filters and the power button is working now. That's it. That was a quick and easy fix. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video.